Well, I haven't done one of these in a while. Yes, I'm going to do another week on. And this one's a little bit special, a little bit different. It's not going to be one of my usual weight loss crusades. This one's actually ration packs. Yes, as you can see in front of me, I have a variety of ration packs. And this is going to be my only food for the next seven days. Doesn't seem like very much. Well, actually, some seem a lot bigger than others. So that's going to be interesting. So, yes, the rules are quite simple. I can only eat what is here, but I can drink water. Uh, so I can't drink anything else that isn't water. These packs have drink mixes in them, so I can make them up, obviously, but only using water. So that's going to be interesting. I can have hot water as well, because there'll be tea and coffee in the British one, because we love our tea and coffee. So that's good. So, yes, I'm going to weigh myself as traditional, but it's not, as I say, one of my weight loss ventures. But uh, we're going to see what it does to my body after uh, only eating and drinking what's in here for the next uh, seven days. So, it's going to be an interesting one. Kind of looking forward to it. Not sure about these ones. Kind of apprehensive about those. But I'm going to start with the British one. But before I crack it open, I'm going to do what I do best and hop on those scales and uh, probably roll my eyes and cry a little bit. So let's go. All right, here we go, my favourite bit. And I've decided to spare you all my feet because I know how much you hate it. Okay. 193 pounds, we'll call that. Well, it's dancing around, but that's what we're going to call it because it's gone off. So, 193. Let's see what uh, only eating rations for a week will do to me. Good to be honest, they're quite calorific, aren't they? So, get in focus. Could be anything. Could be anything. Right, well, it's breakfast time, and I'm going to crack out the British ration pack. And I've got my trusty water. Let's see what's, uh, let's see what's inside. Oh, come on. This is not easy one-handed. Okay. Yeah. Ugh, oh, DL. No. This is pretty Polos. I'm not going to have those for breakfast. I need to find something breakfast related. Um, alcoholic and bacterial wipes. Tea, coffee, sugar. Okay. Cherry drink. Could have some cherry drink. Hot chocolate. Peanut butter. Can't eat the tissues. Brown. Biscuit browns. This is sweet. <laughs> Uh, chicken in yellow curry sauce with rice. Interesting. Pork and beans. Save that for dinner. Uh, okay. Currants, raisins, and sultanas. Uh, apple turnover. You get quite a lot. Ooh, cereal bars. There we go. There's breakfast. Caramel and cranberry. Okay. Can have a cranberry cereal bar. Really? Peanut butter? Okay, I'm not sure. What can I have that with? The biscuits? I don't know. There's quite a lot in here, to be honest, so I'm not going to go hungry today. I'm going to have some nice drink mix so I can add that to the water, so that's all good. And some tea and coffee. Yep, not, not bad, actually. Maybe this week's not going to be all that bad. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to crack this open, have some breakfast. Don't really know what I expected, but that looks quite nice. Um, Tastes all right, a bit dry, but mm, pretty good. I think I'm going to enjoy this week. It's time to decide what to have for lunch. Not tissues. So I guess the choice is either between chicken in yellow curry with rice, or pork sausages and beans in tomato sauce. Whereas my wife prepares herself a nice ham sandwich. I guess I have to choose the lesser of two evils. Although I've got to eat both, so. I don't need a snack. I think I'm going to save this for my evening pudding. Oh, what to have, what to have. I'm going to go for the curry because I think that's going to be the worst. So, yeah, I'm going to whack this in the microwave. Maybe have some sweets as well. I hate raisins, but let's see how desperate I get. Yeah, so, uh. Right. Gonna microwave that and see how it looks. Not sure. Well, here it is. It's fresh out of the microwave. 
uh, yeah, it looks like it's got a lot of veg in there. There is some big chunks of chicken though, and some kidney beans. You don't usually have that in curry, but okay. It smells nice. Get a good bit. Let's have a go. Looks all right. It's got a curry flavour. Quite salty. But I expected that because of all the preservatives, but that's actually really nice. I'm not sure what half of this stuff in here is. I've thrown the thing away. I can't check, but maybe potato. There's some chicken in there. It's actually pretty good. So, uh, things are looking quite good for this week. I think I'm going to enjoy myself. Mm. Very nice. Whew, it's actually pretty spicy, so I'm going to wash it down with cherry electrolyte drink powder. So I mix this whole pouch into here. So I think it seems like it's going to be quite a lot. I don't know. Can't do that uh, one-handed anyway, so uh, I guess I'll cut to that. All right, all mixed in, so give it a taste. Ugh, it's a bit sour. Yeah, not a fan of that. I'll stick to the curry, I think. Well, that was delicious, but I'm still really hungry, so polos. I'm going to try and chug down some of these, but uh, actually, I know I'm not going to like them, so why even bother? Oop. Yeah, and I've got this. Sour drink. Mmm. Yeah, not going to crack open dinner yet. Well, I could eat some peanut butter. Oh, I love these. Come on! Can see you in there. We can see you, you're not fooling anyone. Well, and I'm sure you do, but if you for some reason don't, check out Stuart Ashen's videos because today, the very same day that I'm starting this, well, it could go either way challenge. He is also reviewing some ration packs. What are the chances? And uh, no doubt, knowing Stuart, he's got some absolutely awful ones. Whereas I uh, seem to like mine, he will no doubt have something along the lines of nipples in gravy or something like that. God knows where that's from, but somehow, if it exists, Stuart will have found it. But even if it doesn't exist, he's probably found it as well. Because that's the kind of things he uh, gets sent. And uh, yes, Wicker's here, the snake enjoys a bit of Stuart. Got a very ominous looking image there. You gonna come out? You gonna come out and say hello? Well I tried the raisins and sultanas and uh, yeah as I thought they were absolutely awful. So I ate the polos and um, didn't really tie me over so I'm clawing at the walls right now. But luckily I do have quite a lot to uh, tide me over for the rest of the night. With the, uh, the main course being sausages and beans. And then I thankfully have a dessert, cereal bar, fruit, so I'm going to get this on and enjoy. Yeah, here we go. Here's my sausage and beans. Tastes like I'd expect it to taste, like it's out of a tin. Sausages are pretty salty, which has kind of made the, the beans really salty. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I like this sort of stuff. I ate loads of it on toast growing up as a kid, so uh, it's fine. Also got a oh, whole bunch of stuff to keep me occupied for the rest of the night. Another cereal bar, some biscuits, I can eat the tissues if I want. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat this, not be jealous of that, enjoy it. Well, that was really nice, but um, yeah, I'm a grown man and it wasn't enough to uh, sort my hunger out. So it's apple turnover time, which comes with a nice do not eat packet. And this thing stinks of cinnamon. Feels really, um, I don't know, like it's full of something that has kept it from going off. Mmm, doesn't that look interesting? It just tastes like bread with a bit of cinnamon and apple in it, really. It's not. Not nice, but yeah, you wouldn't order that in a restaurant. Oh, very stodgy. Might go make a cup of tea with a uh, whitener instead of milk. How delightful. I'm trying to get into the biscuits. Don't know how anyone's supposed to try and get into these. 
Come on. It's hard. I'm gonna eat some biscuits. <laughs> I'm gonna starve. <laughs> oh, what? You do it. Right. <laughs> now it's just a bit weak. Man strength. <laughs> right. Now I'll get some peanut butter. And, uh, it's mm, all cracked. It is cracked. Mm. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh god, that's awful. Okay, well, that was day one, and it was pretty easy, I think. Nothing to complain about. Food was pretty nice. I was very surprised by how nice a lot of that food was. It was nicer than t tinned food, at least the curry was. I really liked the curry. I would eat that normally. Um, yeah, water and coffee and tea, and I had all the snacks. Yeah, I'm pretty full, so quite satisfied. Going to bed on a uh, full stomach. Really got nothing to complain about. Except for the fact that I ate about 4,000 calories today and did very little exercise. Can see that being a problem this week. A lot of calories, not doing much. Might have to rectify that. Uh, well, actually, maybe not tomorrow, because, well, wait and see what I've got tomorrow. Not looking forward to it. <laughs>